Hi guys, it's me, Danielle Denny Buttons, and I'm back today with a coloring challenge video. It has been a long, long time, and we are almost through our initial bucket of challenges. So if you are new and have not seen one before, my coloring challenges are a bunch of prompts to help me pick pages or mediums or themes, and we pick one out and we do whatever it says. So I'm a little nervous, but we'll give it a shot. It looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left until we get to mix them all back in and start all over again. I haven't decided if I'm going to like do all seven and then mix them in or mix them in with a few left. You know what I mean? Cause it's less exciting when there's nothing to pick from. But anyway, eyes are closed while I shuffle. And now I will pick this one, ready? Three random colors. Okay, so basically I pick my prompt and then I'm allowed to pick my book and medium um, unless it's it states that I'm not. So three random colors. I can do this a few different ways. So I'm just thinking because I can either literally like do a mandala and pick three random pens and just go with that or I could pick three random pens and then be allowed to use those whole color families. So like if I do blue, any shade of blue, uh, green, any shade of green. So let's think. I think it makes more sense to just do three random pens. So that means I will probably do a mandala. So let's do that. I'm going to pick that, get all my stuff ready and then come back. Okay, so I think I am going to color out of Relax and Color Inverted Mandala by Sun Life Drawing. This was a gift from my friend Pickwick Turtle last month, and I've done two pages in here already, but I really have been enjoying them. So I figure let's do a third page, why not? And I'm going to use glitter. So I have my Color It Glitter Gel Pens. I'm pretty sure this is a 48 pack. And I'm going to pick by just asking Alexa for three random numbers because um, that just makes sense. Actually, I'll do it by random number generator so I don't trigger everybody else's Alexas if I haven't already. So random.org. How many paid, how many are there actually? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 28, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So 48. So one through 48. Can you see? I think so. Generate 20. So I'm just gonna start from that side and work down. So that's 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then I will generate again, 17, so 14, 15, 16, 17, oh boy. And let's generate one last time, 43. So that's 14, 24, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. Oh boy. So I think these look good together. We'll just see how they look on this page so let's see i didn't pick a page yet either so i got two greens and like a brown so i think it makes sense to do something leafy looking slash feeling that one's a contender it also makes sense to do something in tears since we only have three colors Mm, that's a lot. New contender. Ooh, that one's funky. That almost looks like a peacock, though. So, let's do this one. Why not? We'll see what happens. I mean, I if it ends up being a little weird, not every page can be a winner. And again, my motto, process over final product so here we go I don't have a plan besides using these three colors usually I do inside to outside it looks like most of this is almost one line I guess I can still do inside to outside I have a feeling I want to do the inside flower 
in the light green. To me, okay, so here's my thoughts. This inside flower looks like it should be green, and then this kind of looks like roots, so I'll do that the brown, and then I'll do the outside in the dark green. And it's gonna be pretty simple, but I mean, whatever. It's fun, and that was the challenge, so that's my plan. So we'll go for about half an hour, and then we will speed color through the rest if we're not done. I'm just worried that these colors won't pop as much since it'll be dark, but I think everything pops on black, so hopefully it will work out. And the only problem is coloring with gel pens is kind of slow, but we'll get through it. So, as always, if anybody wants to do these challenges, feel free. Tag me on Instagram though if you want so I can see them, it's always fun to see what other people come up with. I love that people interpret the thing, the challenges and things like that in such different ways. Like that happened with the scavenger hunt, I think round three when I did the extreme one and I put eggs. In my head, it was like breakfast eggs. Like that's all that I thought of. And everybody else was doing like dragon eggs and bird eggs and all this other stuff. And I was like, oh my goodness, I forgot that those were even eggs. Like I just was very set in my answer. And that's what's so great about the coloring community slash creative people is that everybody interprets things in their own way. So, but there we go, here we are. So today is June 1st when I'm filming this and hopefully you'll be seeing it on June 4th. Oh no, which means I should have inserted a clip of the giveaway winner. I'll have to just do an extra intro or outro. So either you saw it at the beginning of the video or you're gonna see it at the end, so stick around. But sorry, which means yesterday was Memorial Day and Memorial Day we, for the past like 20 years, have gone to my uncle's house for a barbecue. So it's exciting because we actually did end up going last year, even through the pandemic, but it was like very strange and we all sat far apart and had masks on. But this year we're all vaccinated and all good. So we got to pretty much resume normal activities. Plus we're allowed to be outdoors and all that good stuff. And it's always a fun time. We actually got really lucky because the weather seemed like it was going to be freezing. I think it was 61 degrees when we went over there and we're all in like coats and not coats, but um, I had like a cardigan type thing and um, regular glasses. I didn't think to bring sunglasses and Sam had like a hat on and he had long pants and all this stuff. But then once the sun came out, it got so warm even though it was technically only like 60, 65 degrees. So we got really lucky because we were all melting in the sun. So if it was like actually 80 degrees, I don't know if any of us would have lasted. But it's a lot of fun. We eat a lot of food and play games. So we played, my cousin got this game called Beat That, I'm pretty sure. And it's a really fun game that's like almost minute to win it style. So there's a bunch of tasks that you have to do, but you have to like bet on yourself. So it'll be, do you think that you can take a ping pong ball, bounce it off a chopstick and then catch it? And you have like three chances to do it or something like that. And you'll bet on yourself and you'll be like, absolutely, I'll bet five that I can do it. Or you can bet three or you can bet one. And then if you win, you get to keep the money the money and if you lose you lose your money which are really just tokens so it was a lot of fun and a lot of them were really difficult and we we're like in the grass in the yard so a lot of them were difficult because we were in grass in the yard but I enjoyed that game a lot so it was like 10 rounds and it was a good game too because I, my personal collection, I feel like I don't have much that you can play outside. Like so much stuff, you need the board and the surface. So I thought that was a really fun game. We did need like a table, but it was definitely outside friendly. 
I did not win. I think Sam ended up winning. Sam was really good, and my cousin's boyfriend, Dave, was also really good. But Sam ended up winning. They both won six out of the ten challenges, but Sam had more points because I guess he bet on himself better, <laughs> had better confidence. You got five one tokens, three three tokens, and two five tokens, if that makes any sense. This is a lot of detail. But, um, so once you were out of those types of tokens, like, you were just out, you had to go on to the next type. So I think Sam just got lucky with, um, which ones he bet on. I only won two of my tokens, but I ended with eight points, because I bet five and three, because I had confidence in myself. I'm sorry that's so detailed. I, hopefully, if you've played it before, it makes sense. But it was fun, and it was very, like, minute-to-win-it style. We ended up doing a lot. I don't know if there's just a lot in there, but there were, like, four different types of cards. You could either do solo challenges, so everybody did it, but they weren't really... It was... You're not competing against anybody. You were just, can you do it or can't you? So those were solo. And then there were, like, buddy challenges where you paired up with whoever was next to you. And then there were dual challenges where you fought whoever was next to you. And then there was like battle royale where it was like only one winner kind of thing. And we basically only got solo challenges. So I don't know if there's just more of them or we got unlucky or we needed to shuffle more. I don't know. But it was still fun. It was a good time. And then after that, we mostly just played beer pong but without the beer so water pong i can't believe if you've ever played beer pong first of all i've never been a drinker really at all um so it wasn't really an issue for me but people used to just drink directly from those beer pong cups and that is quite possibly the grossest thing and i can't believe people did it and I know I used to even do it, but it wouldn't be booze. It would just be whatever else. But that, like the ball's always on the floor and there's like grass in there. And when you're inside playing, there's like hair and dirt and it's disgusting. I know I used to play with like mixed drinks if I ever did actually drink. So I would just have my drink to the side, but yuck. But no, we just play with water, so. Usually I'm very good and I play with my cousin's boyfriend, Dave, and since his name's Dave and my name is Danielle, our team name is the Double Ds. And this is our team like motion, if you catch my drift. And usually we're, we like dominate and win every single game. But for whatever reason, yesterday, Sam was doing really well. And Sam and my cousin Alyssa are on a team and they're the power posers because Sam always stands with his hands on his hips in a power pose. So he won like four or five games and Dave and I only won twice, but usually we win every single one. So I don't know what that was about, but again, still very fun. So does anybody have any traditions starting up I feel like Memorial Day is like the first official day of summer even though it's not technically till another month really I guess June 21st so not a full month but um yeah this kind of like the kickoff for summer around here when our weather is more consistently warm uh, I think this week it's supposed to be around 75, but then starting Saturday, it projection-wise, it's 90 for five or six days in a row. So. Ooh, one second. I need to message somebody back. Anyway, all good. I think this is looking good. I was worried, but this is a lot lighter than the pen led me to believe, the pen cap. So, but yeah, so hopefully this weekend we're going to inflate my inflatable pool. Um, Sam is worried that he threw it out and I will be very sad if that's true. And I will have to 
find another one. Because last year, with everybody inside, inflatable pools or just really any at-home pools were impossible to find because we were very close to putting up like a more um, forever above ground pool and they just were sold out everywhere. So I got really lucky. I had to send Sam like half an hour away to do store pickup to a Target that we don't go to. Half an hour, it might even be underestimating, like closer to an hour away, but like past our normal four Targets to pick up the last one of this pool. So if it's not in the garage, I'm going to be very sad because I don't know if it's easier to find them this year or what. But I like it a lot. And I mean, it's pretty small. There's not really much submerging, but it has a nice bench seat. And I go out and I read and Noodles sometimes will join me. And she really just jumps in, runs around three times, and then jumps out and goes inside because she's unhappy she's wet. So she's a strange lady. But we'll see. Hopefully we'll find that and get it up this weekend. Hopefully we'll check before this weekend and if we can't find it, we'll have to just obtain a new one because it's nice being outside. Also, I'm sorry if you can hear a lot of landscapers, but it's landscape and season in the suburbs. So there's really no time I can film without landscapers. And it's gotten to the point where I really don't even notice them. So I don't know how much you'll notice on video. But I think I am going to go up and do... Maybe I'll just do these loopies and consider that closed off. I mean the brown is the most boring color of the three but that feels pretty closed off and then I can do the green for the rest of it we'll see as you can see these go pretty quick we're about 15 minutes in we might be able to finish the whole thing hopefully I'm not jinx jinxing myself but we'll come pretty close Yeah, so there's just landscaping going on around here 24-7, pretty much. So I apologize if it's too loud. But I was trying to get some pre-filming done. I used to be really good at pre-filming. Now, I don't know. It's hard. Um, I don't know what I want to put up as part of the problem. I have about five videos planned for this month. But... If you know my schedule, I will likely do 15 videos. So I still have some thinking to do. And especially that I'm in like a coloring mood right now, it feels like a good time to pre-film at least a little bit. I might start working on some vlogs again because I know people like them and I just haven't been coloring enough to do them. So that's a plan. And what else? Hmm. I don't know. But yeah, so today should be the reveal of the giveaway winners. And that's so exciting. This is actually my first giveaway. I feel like I've been talking about doing them for years now. and just never actually did it. So I'm super excited. And I hope everyone who won enjoys their prizes. And yeah. Super cool. I love Danny Banani and Fun Usual Suspects. So I'm so happy that more people will get to enjoy her art. I'm also excited. She's putting out new stuff soon and I can't wait. I'm going to have to get some of that. She kills me because every time I make a purchase, she'll like come out with a whole bunch of new stuff. And I'm like, oh man. So I'm going to have to buy more things. I just also don't know what to do because I want basically all of her stickers but I like can't use them because I just want to look at them and love them. So I have to figure out where to actually stick them. But they're so cute and so fun. And I just like have to use a wall of my house as a sticker wall. So it's looking good. We're chugging along. 
But yeah, if you want to see anything from me this month, let me know. I might just go through this challenge cup so that we can restart that. Challenges are always fun. I might do a watercolor page. If you saw my What I Want to Color, I have that watercolor book, and I thought that could be fun to, to learn together. Do a page or two. I'm not really sure how quickly they're going to go because they're pretty small images. But if I'm actually going to try to follow the rules, it might take a little bit. I don't know. I haven't used it yet. But, whew. I never know, this is a good question. I never know what to do for the thumbnails of my challenge videos because I feel like it's a spoiler. But obviously like most of the video is, shows what I'm doing. So I never know, cause like for example, for this one, the title will probably be coloring challenge using three colors. And then if I put a picture of the book, you won't even like have to hear my thought process. So I don't know. How to feel about that or what a better solution would be. I always wish that I remembered to take a picture of the blank page before I colored it. So that can be my thumbnail, but I have yet to do that, so. Today is no exception. On to the dark green, this is Emerald. So, this book kind of throws me for a loop because it's almost all connected. I feel like with traditional mandalas, they're all segmented out. So it's kind of easy to figure out your patterns. But this is all, these are all one line, this whole outside area. The whole inside area is one line and the whole outside area is one line. So it's confusing because if I wanted to, I could just like keep going with one color for the whole thing, which I have done. So it's interesting knowing what to pick. You know, it'd be sad if we don't get to speed color. I don't get to pick some fun music. <laughs> I basically just use the music that comes with iMovie on my computer. So I don't know, I wish, or not I wish, but I might look into downloading some extra music just because my it's fun to mix it up. I feel like YouTube has good music also on their editor program, but I don't know if I can download it direct from them. I don't know. I really just have to research and sometimes I'm lazy. So I'm trying to up my game slowly but surely. So Yes, I always forget um, to keep talking because if in my Patreon, I color the whole page with no speed coloring. So however long it takes is how long it takes. But it's because of that, when I'm getting close to the end of the page, I think I'm gonna finish it. So I'm like, oh, if I need to pause for a little bit, that's fine. But for regular videos, we only go the half an hour, so I shouldn't be pausing. <laughs> but we're at 22 minutes right now in this clip. So that's fun. We're gonna be real close to done. Ugh, I might just have to finish the whole page. But yes, other June plans. I don't have too many. Right now we only have one friend day planned because of Father's Day and just like how everything's spaced out. Only the one friend day, which is okay. We should be going to the Jersey Boardwalk, Point Pleasant, if you know the area. Um, it's got like arcades and stuff. Obviously the beach, but I don't think we'll actually go to the, on the beach. Um, boardwalk always has some good food, good fries, but they also have evil seagulls 
that are not afraid of people anymore. So that's never my favorite thing. And the aquarium, I'm so excited. I love aquariums. I think all I ever talk about is how much I love sea critters. So they have a cute little aquarium. Um, and they have a lot of turtles. They have some seals and they have penguins. So that's fun. And they have um, an alligator, actually. Hopefully everything's still there like I'm thinking because it's been a while since I've been to the aquarium. Down there, at least. And I'm really excited because my friends want to do the fun house. And I don't think I've ever gotten Sam to do the fun house with me because you think it's going to be just like a cheesy carnival fun house, but it's like a permanent structure. So it's actually pretty in-depth and a fun time. So I'm excited to do that too. And yeah, I just haven't been down the shore in a few years. So maybe there'll be other fun stuff. Or if not, I will have to buy some turtle trinkets for my collection. We'll see what's in. That's always the fun thing about the boardwalk is whatever style is like trendy for the year, every single store will have it. I don't, obviously they coordinate, but they're all supposedly different stores. But like if I think tie dye is still really big, so every single store will have tie dye or every single store will have all the same designs. So that's always fun to see what this year's design is. So I'm looking forward to that. We're doing that mid-month. Hopefully the weather will be nice for us. And then Father's Day is this month. So my dad will probably go to the racetrack, horse racetrack. That's one of his fave things because we're a gambling family and it's fun. I never, I don't know, I'm not a big horse fan because it is a land creature, but I do like the gambling and it's always fun. I always just pick based on like the names of the horses or sometimes I'll pick based on their number or the color of their like shawl thingy that they wear. I don't think that's what it's called, but you get it. Um, so I never like play odds or anything. I'm just like, ooh, whippersnapper, that's who I want. <laughs> so I don't usually win a lot, but we only like bet $2 a race anyway. <laughs> so, but hopefully my dad might invite my uncle, who is also my godfather, so hopefully he'll come too and we'll make a little afternoon of it. Actually, last time I went to the track, I brought a coloring book for between the races because there's only like one race every 20 minutes. So I'm excited for that. Summer is race season and that's it. I think I don't really have a plan for a gift for my dad for Father's Day, except probably more fish. Because if you've followed our fish saga, I got him a tank for his birthday. We waited the few weeks to put fish in it so that the water would get all stabilized. And four out of the five fish died. So my boy Francois the shark is the only one left. And he's the one I picked and he's doing good but my dad very much wants to get more fish because it's like a 30 gallon tank with just one little shark in there. And Francois seems very lonely, but we're trying to wait for the levels to go back. I don't know what happened. I don't know if like the water from the fish tank was bad. So adding it to our tank messed everything up or, cause we also had the fish tank you can like bring in a sample. So they test it to make sure it's good. But like adding new fish just like raises the ammonia levels, but it raised it so much and also has yet to go down. So I don't know, but I'm looking forward to more fish anyway that will hopefully live. So we'll see next time I'll probably get to pick two because Sam picked two and my dad picked two, but they recommended starting with five total so I got to pick the one.
but yes. It is pretty sad with nobody in there. But the tank's really cool because it has like a volcano that lights up red and that's the bubbler. I think I mentioned this too, but in the past I've always gotten treasure chest bubblers. So this is my first volcano bubbler. So, yes. All right, I'm at what looks like 28 minutes. I think I'm going to speed this up now because I also have to insert the giveaway winners. So that'll get us to about 40 minutes. So speeding up time, be right back. As you can see, maybe, that my the glitter does come off a little bit, but I love it. So it's really glittery, <laughs> glittery all over. Whew, take a breath, girl. Okay. I think it came out good. I think the colors do go well together. They make sense. Um, I don't know if I would have chosen them, but luckily I didn't have to, and it was random. So yay for our first page done of the month, because again, it is the first one I am filming this, so off to a good start. Super excited about that and I hope you enjoyed. Now on to the giveaway. Hi guys. All right this is actually in the middle of another video so I don't have to introduce myself but it is time to pick our winners. Hooray. So I'm at pickawinner.co and it's going to pick this for me. Basically I'm on YouTube random comment picker. This is the link to the video. I'm going to click fetch I'm gonna click keyword filter, and then we're gonna type in the word slime. Okay, so we're not including replies because I answered to some people, so hopefully everybody included theirs. Can you see? Let's see if I can zoom in. I wanna make sure everybody can see. I have not tried to fill my computer before, so I'm sure there's easier ways and smarter ways to do this, like screen share or something, but I am not that technologically advanced, so here's what we're gonna do. So the first winner is going to be the YouTube grand prize winner. That means they will get the Yippie Kawaii Volume 2 and the 100 Castle Art gel pens. If you already have Volume 2 and don't have Volume 1, that works. And if you have both volumes, one and two, you will still get the gel pens and you will get store credit to her shop. So you can pick out some stickers and other fun stuff like that. Ready? So I put the word slime, continue. So there are 85 people wrote slime. Pick a winner. Our grand prize winner is Mandy. Woohoo! I'm writing your name down right now. Let me see, let me see. Okay, so Mandy, please email me with your information so we can get your prizes out to you. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Also, yes, Figure It Out was a fun show. I always liked when the guy that was repeat from Pete and Pete was on there. I don't remember his name. His name's like Danny something. I think he's from all that too. Anyway, sorry. Next up, we're going to pick our three Bonus winners, so as you can see now it says 84 comments are left. So bonus winner number one, Debbie N. Oh, I'm getting emails. Go away emails, delete. So Debbie N. And your comment was, congrats on 3K. Thank you for the chance to win such wonderful prizes. So you and the next two winners will all get um, a goodie bag of acrylic pins from Funusual Suspects. They're super cute. So, ready? Winner number two of the bonus. Oh my goodness, Debbie O. That's funny. <laughs> ready, Debbie O. I'm gonna have everybody's names down in the um, description section because I'm not positive if I can talk to people directly on here. So please check, be on the lookout for that. So Debbie N and Debbie O, ready? Our final YouTube winner is Michaela. Hooray, Michaela Renee. Michaela Renee. I'm gonna message you direct because I am your Instagram friend. So that's cool. 
So congratulations to everybody. Now for a surprise, um, I'm gonna reload. So everyone who posted wave, I did want to do something for international giveaways. Give a, yeah, international viewers also. So unfortunately it's not like the biggest prize in the world, but I'm going to give you, we'll have to talk about it. So email me, but it's gonna be either like a $25 gift card to the Amazon of your choice or $25 worth of books from Book Depository if they ship to your country, or I was talking to a friend in another country and she recommended um, yeah, eBooks, right? What are they called? <laughs> Help Sam, what are they called? Like a digital book, a digital copy, and I can just like send that to you as the gift. We'll talk about it. So anybody who said the word wave is entered into this one. So we're gonna type wave. And again, this time it's just one person, but hopefully we'll get to do more in the future. So our international winner, ready? Click. There were 23 comments with wave, click. Happy Trekker, ooh, Australia. So if you could also message me and we will figure out what time, blah, 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 what type of gift you would like, so. There we go with that. Next up is Instagram. So let me go to my personal Instagram. I don't know what I've been talking about, so I'm not gonna show you that. Sorry. We're at my Instagram and we are at the hashtag FunUsualButtons. And I'm gonna just count. There's 24 posts, but I know that I posted twice and that Danny posted once. So that leaves 21. I'm going to just do random number generator for this because I think that makes sense. I've never done an Instagram giveaway. So number one is gonna be this dinosaur page. So we'll remember and we'll just count from the top every time, okay? Well, let me get that out. So, do 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 do, random.org. I'm gonna show you on my phone because again, I'm not very techy over here so 21 winners because again you can see there are 24 public posts one of them is my picture one of them is my announcement and one of them is danny's announcement so number one this is our grand prize winner over here who will again get the yippee Kawaii volume two and the castle art gel pens and if you have that we'll figure something else out ready generate click Number seven, so one, two, three, four, five, six, number seven. So our grand prize winner is Hobby Hope Colors. Hope Colors, again, writing this all down. So I will be messaging you, but it will also be announced over here. So I love this page a whole ton. So congratulations. And going back to the top, generating number two for our bonus winners, generate number six. Number six is Spicy Cat Colors, Kathy. Cat Colors. So you get a bonus pack of goodies from Danny Banani, and I'm so excited for you. And our other two bonus winners, let's see, generate. Number 18, so all right, let's see. Three, six, nine, 10, 11, because that's mine, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Chili Crafts, C-H-I-L-I -I underscore crafts. And our final bonus winner, oh, congratulations, congratulations. Our final bonus winner is 15, back to the top. Three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Ooh, another bear page, how fun is that? Roxana Teresa. Let me write that down to underscore. Awesome. Okay, so I guess I can zoom out now. But here are our list of winners. GP is grand prize. Bonus is the fun uh, goodie bags and international. We're going to talk and figure out what type of prize you would like. Hooray. I'm so grateful to everyone who has subscribed, who has been commenting. Who is going to stick around. I hope you do. I'm a fun time. And be sure to email me. I'm going to write my email real big. 
Danny Buttons 3000 at, obviously it'll be in the down below too, but here it is, real big, Danny Buttons 3000 at gmail.com. So please, if you are one of these winners, email me. Of course, I'll be talking to the Instagram people on Instagram because I can direct message them there. But for you YouTubers, please shoot me an email at Danny Buttons. And I will get your prizes out to you ASAP. I guess just for transparency's sake, let's see. Today is today is the 3rd. The video is going up on the 4th. So if you guys don't get back to me in another two weeks by the 18th, I will have to pick again. So hopefully we don't have to do that. And I can hear from all of you guys soon. So thanks so much. I think I have an outro for this video, so thanks for sticking around, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Congratulations again to all of our giveaway winners. Yes, I'm so happy to have wrapped this up. I hope that everyone who won is excited, and I hope you enjoyed the extra international winner that I threw in there. I am very much looking forward to doing more giveaways in the future, and if I called your name, I'll have it linked down below. And if you could email me your information, that would be perfect. And um, that's pretty much it. So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, Sam, give me a word. Sam? What? Give me a word. Um, pickles. Pickles. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, please say pickles. Thanks everybody for playing. Subscribe if you haven't, I'm a fun time. Like this video, comment anything you wanna comment, including the word pickles, and we'll be back again in two days with something new. Bye guys.